Give me the moment. <laughs> okay, so I always give this feel, and sometimes people like can uh, pass their test just by coming in and doing this with you. In fact, there was a couple people last week that I gave this feel to like a couple of times, and they didn't listen to some shit I said, and they didn't pass because they didn't do what I said. Uh, so this one right here, you know what TA stands for? Test anxiety. Yeah, test anxiety is stupid. Okay. What's you guys all you have? I've seen people that have way less skill than you earn their high step. Okay, so you're you right now you could go pass it, but test anxiety ruins it for you. What happened to a couple of people last week is they went in there and they looked at the first couple of questions and it was they was they were really hard, right? And they gave up and they just blew it blew the rest off and they didn't try on every single question. Do your best on every single question, regardless of what you're telling yourself, because you don't need to get them all right. And if you don't pass it. You can take it again next Tuesday, okay? If you don't, and you guys only need like one or two more questions, right? You might need three, yeah. but it's only three. And think about how much we've done over the last couple of days, yeah. okay? So just have some confidence in yourself that you ain't gonna get them all right. And anxiety is what's gonna ruin it more than, it ain't your ability, okay? If you guys don't pass, it isn't because your ability, because you have the ability to get the test. Remember all the test-taking strategies? Uh, the Making a T-chart, like on the, on those, like the first night and the second night, what happened on those nights? This is what happened. And what's the total for the first night and the second night? Making some kind of a table or a T chart. Uh, the, prob the percentage problem solving machine, part over total. Remember these things. Sometimes if you get test anxiety, okay, it, ruin it makes you forget all the stuff we've been doing. Okay? Reverse guess and check. If it says, what's the value of X? You're just plugging your answers in, and one of them has to be right, right? That's a test-taking strategy. Um, making sure you answer the question that's being asked. Sometimes those percentage problems might be two-part problems, uh, like the one with the commission and the base we did today. You had to add the base salary in, and you got, and there may be a question like that. So sometimes after you do this, you may like if it's if something's on sale for thirty-five percent off, right? Um, or shoot, I put that in the wrong spot. If something's for sale for 35% off and it originally cost $24, it may say, how much did they take off? It might also say, what's the sale price? If it's asking what the sale price is, you're gonna have to subtract this from this. Does that make sense? So some of those questions are gonna be two part problems. Um, and a lot of times you got common sense too. Like, uh, I don't know if it was one of you guys, but like it was, uh, one of the things was how much somebody made for a year, the total amount somebody made for a year, and they got two hundred and eighty-eight dollars a year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that ain't common, right? Yeah. So just if, know that if that's not a reasonable answer. You can eliminate unreasonable yeah. answers like that. Yeah. So use common sense. Uh, take all your time. Okay. You got ninety minutes. Don't the two people that that this happened to, they were done in fifteen minutes, and none of you guys did that, right? You guys all did your best. Okay, um, on every single question. Uh, now, sometimes when you get anxious, I know when I get anxious, I start rushing. Okay, and then I, I kind of stop breathing a little bit, but I have a, like an anxiety relieving whistle, like to remind, and I do this to kind of remind me to breathe. So seriously, when you breathe all the way out like that and just take a second and slow down, it'll slow your mind down, okay? Uh, I know when I get anxiety, I have to remind myself to breathe. I have terrible anxiety about speaking in front of people. So sometimes if I get like anxious and weird, and, like I'm all hyped up, I just have to stop and slow down and calm down a little bit. And that, that brings me back to the moment, okay? Because I'm thinking I'm, gonna, I'm not going to pass this test when I'm up here. But if I stop and just go and do one question at a time, I'm gonna, you're gonna be more likely to be the high step. Uh, so breathe like you're blowing a whistle. Okay, so those are all the testing strategies. Make sure you're writing something down, okay? Uh, a lot of times, and you can still pass by just pushing buttons in the calculator, but if you write something down, if you write some of these things down, if you're making this and you're knowing this is the X axis and you're plotting the points and you're doing something versus just looking at it and trying to do it all in your head, Okay. 
you're going to make mistake. You're going to make way more mistakes than if you have pictures of it on your piece of paper because you get scratch paper and you get that formula sheet. Okay, and once you've done that, then it's okay to. You, I want you to rely on the calculator. Remember, you got the calculator. Okay, so it's okay to rely on that, but put it in put it in coordination with something that you've written down. Okay, just like we've been practicing. Um, don't spend more than five minutes on one single problem because you might be robbing yourself of an easy problem later on, a time that you can spend on something that you know how to do for sure. And then when you have time at the end, go back. So if you're spending more than five minutes and you have no idea how to do a problem, okay, maybe make your best guess and move on. And Jacob might explain to you how to do that, but I don't want to teach you how to guess. I want you to kind of know how to do it, all right? Uh, um, so we use calculator. Come back and tell me how you did, come back and tell me what was on it. Even if you don't pass, because uh, you, we could maybe find something and explain something that'll help you next Tuesday. If you do these things though, you should pass. And if you don't, is it the end of the freaking world? No, it's just a goddamn stupid test. Okay, you guys have any questions? Uh, okay, we'll get you some gum on the way down there. Stop. <laughs>